Let's read a book. Let's read a book. Today we are gonna read My Parents Think I'm Sleeping. My parents think I'm sleeping. My parents think I'm sleeping, but I am possibly not. From beneath my pile of covers, I am doing quite a lot. I am reading poems and stories. I have got my flashlight lit. I am playing with the pieces of my model rocket kit. I was quiet as my shadow till the moment they were gone. Then I dove beneath the covers and I snapped my flashlight on. So my parents think I'm sleeping, but that's simply their mistake. I have got them full completely. I am really wide awake. Tonight is impossibly noisy. Tonight is impossibly noisy. It's filled with a horrible sound. As if dozens of orcs and tigers are stuck on a merry-go-round. It sounds like a monkey battalion is dancing on needles and pins or an out-of-tune elephant orchestra is sawing on steel violins. Tonight is impossibly noisy. The air is full of scratches and roars. It sounds as if pigs are stepping pursed by engaged dinosaurs. It sounds like a polygar's army is holding a midnight parade. But it's only the alley cat choirs in a brazy backyard serenade. The clouds I'd watch this afternoon. The clouds I watch this afternoon were flocks of silent sheep. But now they have turned to smoky wolves that watch me while I'm asleep. All night they prowl before the moon, till morning when I raise. Then, once again, white fleecy sheep will float across the skies. Night is here. Night is here. And night is there. And night is all around. I feel its presence everywhere and yet it makes no sound. And so it's time to close my eyes and dream the night away until the sun lights up the skies and welcomes back the day. A spooky sort of shadow. There's a spooky sort of shadow dancing wearily on the wall. Is a creature that I have never seen before. It's creepy and it's eerie and so possibly tall that it stretches from the ceiling to the floor. Its mouth is full of needles and it has a giant eye and it's moving in a hungry sort of way. It surely could destroy me if it not only cared to try, so I hope it's had enough to eat tonight. That shadow makes me nervous. I don't dare to close my eyes. I'm afraid I might be eaten, head and all. If I fall asleep tonight, I'll be taken by surprise, but the shadow dancing on my bedroom wall. What happens to the colors? What happens to the colors when night replaces day? What turns the weirs to ravens, the trees to shadows of gray? Who paints away the garden when the sky is a sea of ink? 
Who robs the sleeping flowers of their purple and their pink? What makes the midnight clover quite black upon the lawn? What happens to the colors? What brings them back at dawn? I have been in bed for hours. I have been in bed for hours, but I'm sure I'm wide awake. For my head is filled with visions of a forest by the lake. I hear frogs and crickets calling. I'm aware of fireflies. I can see the moon reflected in an owl's unblinking eyes. A tipo very slowly past a hive of drowsy bees. High above, a cloud Minders, tiny stars shine through the trees. I sit beside the water as a silent swarm glides by. I climb a bristly hilltop where I almost touch the sky. I watch the fishes splashing in a clear and crystal stream. It's a very lovely forest, far too real to be a dream. Si te gustó este video, dale me gusta y no te olvides de suscribirte. También entra a www.cladacosta.com para adquirir práctica de este y de otros temas, productos exclusivos y tener la oportunidad de matricularte a mis clases de inglés.